Hey, I know I told you guys I was going to close the door on this, and, but dude just asked me flat out, why do people always, black folks, always revert back to slavery when we talk about drama and problems? I just went through a whole series of videos last night that explain the plight or the reasons of slavery. And it's kind of ironic that I go through all these videos last night and I wake up with a new find, newfound purpose uh, <laughs> that someone asked me that question. And like I've said in several other videos before, it's embedded in our DNA. We have been suffering so long that, bam, what if slavery never happened? Can you, would, would, would we still be at the same place we are today if slavery never happened? What if slaves never happened? How many people think we'd be better off now if slavery never happened? Well, you have one place but to look. Africa. Look inland. Look deep inland. Do you honestly think things would be better for us now if slavery never happened look at Africa look at every place where there was people of our color look at it look at it what do you think life would be like now if we were never enslaved think you'd be equal think you'd gain your respect think others would salute to your well being What would be the problem? Who would who would be the ones that the noses would be turned up on? All that. What would happen if the Pope would have never said you can have slaves? Think about it. Would there be equality if we were never have been enslaved? Huh? And then this guy's like, black people, when there was a problem, you know, it's like you know, we were slaves. You know, white people were slaves too. Um, I haven't heard much about that throughout history, but if any white popals, any white popals out there, any white people out there can can show me some um, stuff about, you know, the plight of white slaves, I appreciate, you know, to watch anything you send me. Um, uh, that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start looking before I leave. I'm not going to comment on people's videos as much as I used to. It's because nowadays when I comment on videos, they're not attached to the video. I mean, the last four times I've commented on videos, normally it says, you know, your video would be attached or whatever after, you know, it's watched by, you know, you know, that, that, that little, hey, you know. They'll hook your video up after the person sees it, you know, if in just case you're a nut bag or fruit cakey, you know, that person can say no to your video. I mean, I don't even got that option. I do a video now and be like, okay, next video AIX or none at all for you. Um, I've been fucking with my hair and it looked like I'm making ball spots. I better stop rubbing it because the more I rub it, the curlier it get. Like I said back in the days, people used to say, oh, it's because you part white. Your hair ain't completely, you know. Please. My father was Indian and black, and my mother was black. As far as I'm concerned, I'm a human being. Come here, Romy. Come get a treat. Come on. Well, people revert back to that slave mentality or what slaves did because obviously it's a deep embedded in, you know the fabric of our country. Everything that, 95% of the thing that you see out there made possible by the slaves. Railroads, you know, the banking system, you know, docks and ports. Um, an old black guy used to tell me back in the day that San Francisco itself was um, like a military town but it was like mostly black. I mean, he said most of San Francisco was black owned. When you, put like this, when you have to live with the people who kept you in captivity for thousands of years, 
and then you have to work constantly side by side with the people that kept you in captivity, the people that put fear throughout your ancestors. I mean, like I said in that one video, it's like whenever you tie a man or a woman up between two horses and pull them apart in front of a group of people and say, hey, you fuck up, you get it like they do. Maybe you tie somebody up on a tree and burn them in front of the rest of the fucking town. You know, people will see that shit. You know, I got a, um, a uncle. You know, one of those uncles through your dad. He was my good friend. That's your Uncle Raymond. Uncle Raymond, his family owned a town called Mayfield. I forgot where they said Mayfield was. Mayfield, Tennessee, Maryland, Florida. I don't know. But it was like Rosewood. And the stories he heard was, it was like, they rolled in one day talking about, um, you're going to disband your little town or you're all dead. And his great-great-grandfather said, well, we just going to have to all be dead when they can't ride. And they said, well, I guess we change our mind we'll move on. How can you own an entire town and have some group of guys just ride in and say, you know what, <laughs> you finna sign this over or die? And then, you know, you go tell the police chief about it. And the police chief said, I don't I know what they said to you. I was there. Sign the fucking paper. And then you go through this over the course of your entire life. I can, man, just get the movie Rosewood. Just watch Roots, the next generation. You have to watch Roots, the next generation. Because if you watch the first beginning half, you're like, yeah, that was fucked up, but I'm glad it stopped. No, you need to watch the entire Roots thing. The problem with Roots is it stops. It's a never-ending story. It stops. See, they show the plight of some people and blah, blah, and whatever, but they don't show what happened after the 60s. We're living through that shit right now. Here, Rummy, Rummy. They don't understand... You know, people don't understand the whole plight of the whole city. I wasn't there, but I understand that. Put it like this. For every person who had a, fa a distant family member that was a slave. Now, whichever person that worked for that slave, I mean, that, that, that slave worked for, what if they owed, say, 10% of what they earned from the time they had that slave to now, to the people who spawned from that slave's family, what have you. How many people you think would be in power now if they had to pay a percentage of what they owe, even at 10% of what, you know, the person made with an interest from way back when they fucking first freed the slaves. Pay what you owe. Then you see why people revert back to slavery. And then it's like, because it ruined the fabric of this country. I mean, you know, when I was a kid, you know, still to this day, somebody white has something negative to say, man, we used to own you motherfuckers, yeah. You can even read it in some of the comments that people give me. They remember who the fuck they were. Why can't we remember who the fuck we were? And that's why, yeah, I was a fucking descendant of a slave. You can't enslave me now. And when you enslave me now, they're going to take so many white slaves with them, it's going to be pitiful. And, and people fail to realize that we have been enslaved. I mean, and white people need to understand, you have been enslaved ever since the slaves were set free. You need to look at the big picture. We all work to make a handful of people rich handful of Englishmen and Spaniards and Jews rich at the sweat of your brow, your grandkids and your great great grandkids we will be enslaved for another listen to me 3,000 years so go ahead and line up and put chips in people's fucking heads and tell them to go to work that's pretty much what's going to be next anyway. We headed for the NWO. That ain't got nothing to do with me. But black people revert back to, yeah, I'm not ahead because I was a slave. It's because that's all the quote-unquote white society has ever let us believe. Thank you, and you've been too. Don't ask me no dumb question no more.
You know who the fuck you is. Don't answer that.